Hey, welcome to Dogging It With The Lou. Yesterday we installed the Ring floodlight cam at our home and we wanted to share that with you. Please enjoy the video and please excuse us for the video quality. We're new at this. Please like and subscribe and enjoy. Check on which way I want it lined up. So I've got the full view of the driveway and the backyard. And what I'm gonna do is uh, next, I am going to uh, put the bracket on to secure the light and the camera to the eve of the house in the right spot. This is the ring camera with the two floodlights to hook up to the ring security system. We already have the doorbell in the front yard with the camera on it. And we are gonna use this for the backyard with uh, the camera and the floodlights to light up the driveway and the backyard. And I've already attached the plate to uh, the house and I'm gonna get ready to wire this and attach this to the, um, the plate. So they provide just a little hook to hold it there while you are fully wired. And what I'm gonna do is put it up there temporarily and go ahead and sign into the Ring app to see if my camera is facing exactly where I want it. And then once I get it on there where I want it, what I'll do is I'll take the light back down and I'll put silicone around the bracket so I got a tight seal, no water will get in. They do provide the foam, but it's not as good of a seal against the stucco where the silicone will fill in all the gaps. And that's what we want. We don't want any water getting in there at any time. So we're gonna carefully stuff these wires into the junction box, up where they belong, out of the weather's way. And then what we're gonna do is take the hook off. Oh, what I forgot to do was put on the uh, ground wire. So we're gonna do that now at this point. And we're grounding, since there isn't a ground wire in this junction box, we're grounding the ground wire to the box itself. Very easy to do is grounded and take this off the hook. We're not going to need that hook after we're done. And we're going to make sure all the wires are secure inside. And it comes with these little white caps that have a nut in it so it'll make it look really nice. Once you put it in. And I can see it's a little bit facing the driveway a little too much. I believe I'm gonna have to move. And of course this wouldn't be a project without King Lou. on the caps just to uh, tighten them down so it's nice and water sealed with the wrench that they provide. And you can see it's squishing down nice and tight so no moisture is going to get in there. And then of course what we'll have to do after we tighten this up, we'll fire up the application, see if our camera's pointing in the correct direction that it covers the whole backyard and the driveway and then I can move the camera however I want from there and then we'll have to wait till tonight to guide uh, put the floodlights where we want
I've already scanned our barcode into uh, my app, and now it's telling me to press and release the button on the top of the floodlight cam. I'm going to come and find the button. And it's joining the Wi-Fi network for the actual Ring app, which will connect to my Wi-Fi in the house, of course. Now it's connecting to uh, my Wi-Fi in the house. It is up and running, it tells your me. Your floodlight cam is ready to go. With Ring, you're always home. And I am gonna also grant my wife access to the floodlight cam right now by putting in her email address. And she's now a shared user. Uh, your Ring Protect plan is expiring soon. And what we want to do is go to the Ring website to activate your Ring Protector plan. So I'm going to add this to before I just had the $3 a month to store it all in the iCloud. But now I'm going to add the uh, rest of it, this, this other device. And I think it's $10 um, a month for the whole year's worth of as many units as you want to put on it. So I think that's going to work out good for us. And uh, the only thing left is I'll probably put a piece of silicone, uh, caulking of silicone around there and aim my floodlights and make sure that this is correctly uh, pointing. And that's it.